Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Since last time, I got my... I transmigrated my ranger into Strider, just like I said I would there. I transmigrated the main three, got everyone back up to uh, level 33, actually, not level 32, because, well, I needed a little extra money to buy everything that I wanted there. Uh, so, got that there. Uh, also, with uh, buying stuff... I got the crosshair scope, so you get that at customer rank 7. And, of course, got the arms masters on them, as usual. And I also got falcon shoes for my elite ninja there. Again, with arms masters, so... Oh, also, uh, one last thing. I got the king orb for Lon there. It's, uh, you get that for healing 10,000 SP at the hospital. And, okay, so let's head on to uh, the final part of the chapter, where we'll find, try to find the printings. What are those? Those are the souls of the printings who've atoned for their sins. Oh. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the printings are the souls of sinful humans. That's why they explode. Yes. And they work in Celestia in the Netherworld to atone for those sins. I don't want to explode. That's right. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. What a heart-wrenching sight. Isn't that good? Edna, stop them! Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Isn't that supposed to happen? Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! We'll drag them back here if we have to. Uh, how are you going to capture their souls? <laughs> or swallow their souls? Who are you? Take souls to Red Moon. You look like one of those Nobody nightmare guys. Interfere. We'll see about that. Those printies are mine. They're my vassals for all eternity. For boss time! Oh, what's going on up here? What does this Seraph have to do with any of this? What do you mean by that? Fun? Hmm. Okay, so. No epic boss music, but whatever. Eh, the music's fine. Whatever. So, first things first. Let's uh, have Etna use our new Violent Storm ability on that guy. Okay, you got him. You can tap now, Etna. Thanks. <laughs> Man, I'm really good at overkill in this game. Okay, so let's use... Yeah, let's go with that. Hurricane Slash. Here I come. Oh, that might... Oh, okay. I was going to say, that might not be enough, but, uh... No, that was enough. And let's have... Let's have my ninja move out. Hmm... I don't think you can kill that guy. I think you're going to be a little short, but let's give it a try there. Maybe... Nuts. Okay. Yep. No, can't do anything about that. Let's see. Now, in order to shoot this guy... Gotta get a little high up to the ground. There we go. So far, we're doing good, picking them off one by one. That level grinding really helps out. Hmm. So let's see, you're weak to ice! But I don't want to use ice. Hmm. Yeah, because I've already got that up to level 6. But it seems that I don't really have much of a choice anyway. Aw, oh, come on! I almost had the guy. Uh, yeah, let's go there and pass the turn. As we say in Magic the Gathering. Uh... Thanks? Why did you kill your own guy? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, that didn't... It's like, wait, what? Ow. Quit it. Ow. Quit it. I'm gonna have to get some more arms masters for my Bushi. She's a little bit behind on her, uh, weapon development there. Probably why she's not doing uh, so well. 
Why don't you go there? Uh, yeah, good wind cutter out of you. Yeah, this battle, not too hard, especially if you got some good levels there. I just figured, you know, we want to be well leveled enough to be able to take on the boss there, but the minions are uh, pretty easy, actually. Okay, let's go... Hmm. Can I? Yeah, I think I can do this without uh, getting killed. Prinnies, attack them! Stop them from sending your other prinnies to get reborn. How does it even work? Oh wow, I'm surprised we got that close. Let's see, probably a good star spell ought to do. Plan. Ha! Good job. Let's see, last two. Probably a good ass. Whoa. Asteroid drop. Or ass shot. We'll uh, take care of these guys. Hmm. Well, I mean, that'll at least damage them. So. Let's see, let's do that. Maybe a good uh, AoE from Flan will help too. Oh, uh, yeah, back up! Back up! Back up! Huh. Maybe I should have had Baharl use Wing Slayer. Well, that's to that. Uh, what are you weak to? Uh, let's use a new bullet storm ability there. Get that, I think, at rank 8. Ow! Uh, where's my. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ah! Didn't even see you there. And the Harl, I think you should do the honors. Ha! Got him. These are mine for all eternity. I'm gonna be quiet for this part. Why are you interfering with work? Work? That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon, dude. If you truly value your vassals, if you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. Huh, you sound just like that love freak. It's what's best for their sake? That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. You understand, dude? Well, yeah. Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? I took my own life. Taking your own life is a grave sin. Why would you? To save my son's life. Because of my death, my son shut away his feelings. But he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. <sighs> Of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But if we are destined to part again, then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? He has suffered enough already. My silence is how I show my love. I'm sorry. I tried to push my idea of love onto you without considering your reasons. 
without considering your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person. Dude, Prince, take care. Lon, Edna, take care of him for me. Goodbye. Me a little choked up. The red moon reflected in Laharl's eyes, swaying sadly. A gentle, loving mother who gave up her life to save her son. A son who could only accept his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. I'm sure the red moon will wash away his sorrow. Love, huh? Huh? Nothing. Yeah. How did, how did we go from horse wiener in one episode to... Let's return to the castle, Flan. This. How does that even work? Laharl! I just want to know how the creative process worked when for that. When Laharl called me by my name for the very first time... I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. Did they run out of cocaine? I'll always remember the sad tale of a mother and her son. I thought I'd throw in the English lyrics for you from the PS2 version for those who uh, aren't playing that one. So get a little variety, spice things up in the LP here. How do you tap what happened warning, in last warning, chapter? Warning, a hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahal. His uh -oh. name is Captain Gordon, defender of Earth. We're not on Earth. Bonjour! I am your own personal Dark Adonis. Oh, I can never With get enough beautiful mid -boss. sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Gordon takes the netherworld by storm! Thursday? Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? I'm more of a fan of Who Tuesday, I'll be honest. Will win this cataclysmic battle, the evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, oh, Looks but like this no chap is going to take listening. a turn for the epic. Next on Mobile Girl Etna Stardust Memoir, Episode 9, Invincible Captain Gordon. Soldier's tears illuminate the starry sky. When did you Everybody suddenly get a British accent there, her. Etna? Will the Harl's journey continue to become more serious and epic than ever before? Or will the plot suffer from a case of extreme mood whiplash? Find out next time on episode 9 of Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!